One of my dear friends, uh, and I, I hope he's, he's, he's quite sick. Uh, I don't know if he's still alive, hope, hopefully. Anyway, he was really from Karachi, but he went to Oman. And there in Oman, he did very well, and he, you know, started engaging in, 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 in business of different kinds. He had a gas station, then he had a dry cleaner, then he had a pharmacy, then he had, I don't know what, you know, car washes. I mean, the guy had an empire. And of course, in these countries, you can't do things on your own. You have to have a sponsor from, you know, from someone from the country, in this case, Omani. So his Omani sponsor, who they were just like brothers, somehow he just went off. And he said, you know what, Zubair? Uh, this is all mine, and you have until tomorrow to get out of the country. And if you don't get out of the country by tomorrow, you're going to be in jail. Can you imagine? So this guy, is, you know, he's got millions. And he said, I, you know, number one, you can't even believe this is happening, but then he had no, he had to go and find a friend, you know, search around all night to find somebody that's going to loan him the money for the ticket to get, to, to leave the country. I didn't know him at that particular time. Actually, he was, he was the uncle of one of my other young friends. So then he took me one day to meet him, and then he was telling me this whole story. And he was telling this whole story, and he was just smiling, and he was happy. You can imagine, this guy lost everything. You know, how can this guy? And then at the end of the story, he said, you know what? This is the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so can you explain that? He said, yeah, I'll explain that. He said, I've always been religious, you know, I've always, you know, like Salah, but I was so tied up in all of this dunya, I had no time for dhikr, I had no time for talawat, I had no time for masjid, I had no time for anything, you know, and I was just, okay, next time, next business, you know, and that next never comes. And Allah Subhanahu said, okay, I'm going to have special mercy on you and relieve you of this burden. And he said, alhamdulillah, and then, then he started a little business of oud. Another thing that he used to do, he used to go to Cambodia and bring this, you know, this expensive perfume, you know, oud, if you know about that. And so, so he, he just kept, he would go once a year and, you know, collect it, and then he would bring it, and he, would, he was living very comfortably on that, and he was so happy. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removed him of this burden of dunya and their happiness is. So that American dream, happiness is in a bank account, a new house, a new car, it's all... It's all nonsense. It's all nonsense, you know. And then ultimately, as we started our talk, from in Zuhzian in Nad, wa udkhil al Jannah, faqad faz. Allahu Akbar. Qul inna al ladina khasidu anfusuhum alim yom al qiyamati. Qul inna al khasidin al ladina khasidu anfusuhum wa alim yom al qiyamah. Ala inna dadiga. What is the real failure? What is the real loss? The real loss is those who lose themselves and their family and everything on the day of Qiyamah. That is the clear loss. We're already in loss. Unless we have Iman, Amal Salih, Tawasi Bil Haq, Tawasi Bil Sabr, you know. We talked about that yesterday in, in the Juma. Okay? So loss is losing yourselves and losing your families, you know, to the fire of Jahannam and not entering into paradise. So then what is success? So the person or the people who are saved from that torment and are put into paradise, they are the ones who have, they are the ones who have succeeded. In hadith, what Nabi Yisrael says, he said the person who was the most, you know, went through the, the, the greatest, you know, um, first of all, he had the greatest amount of wealth, yeah. Annami ahli dunya. Now we can imagine how much, you know, the people of dunya, how much the, the person who had the max of dunya in every respect, but he didn't have iman. So he thought he was the king of the world, he's got everything. So one dip in jahannam, you know, like you dip your, you know, your, 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 your bread into the tea, you know, in Pakistan, India, we have a papar, you know, you just dip it into the chai, maybe in the morning. You have that. One dip. And you know, the people that lived before, you know, it's hundreds of years, maybe a thousand years of life. So we can imagine, can't imagine actually, 
how much they were enjoying the world apparently. One dip in Jannam. You remember any of that good time you were having? All those blessings, all those, you know, houses and food and, 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 and. Do you remember the good time? I didn't see a single, any nice thing, period. One dip in Jahannam, it's not one dip. Forever and ever, never to come out. Then, on the other hand, you know, the, the fellow who was getting the maximum. Now we talked about somebody, they were, they were cut in two, their flesh was taken off by hot comb. Who knows what, you know, difficulties and trials and tribute. But he was from the people of Iman. So one dip in, in Jannah. One dip in, out. Hey, you remember all that problem, difficult? La wallahi, ma ra'itu ba'asan qat. I didn't, I didn't see any kind of difficult note. And it's not one dip in Jannah. It's forever and ever and ever. This world, what happens? You buy a brand new Mercedes. Take it out of the showroom. Drive it around the block. Come home, show your wife. A black Mercedes? I want a white one. No, I want a pink one. I want a red one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm just going back. I'm going to change it. Go back to the showroom. Okay, can you kindly just change this, you know, for um, a red one? Uh, yeah, we can definitely do that. And we're going to take 20000 off the price. I just drove it for a minute. I just, you know, I, it, it's a, sorry, you used, it's used. It's been abused. So it's, it's, its value has deteriorated. That's the nature of this world. It's on the, you know, it's on the nuzul. It's losing value every moment. In Jannat, it goes on gaining value every moment. Not for a year, not for a millennium, not for a million, trillion, forever and ever. And ever. It gets better and better and better and better. 